Hi, welcome to Cruise Control. My name's Eric, and today I'm gonna to talk about what mod would I do first if I bought the new Civic Si. Before we get to that, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. I cover car news, new and used car reviews, plus do live streams. Now back to that first mod. All right, so for the very first mod, if I were to buy this new Honda Civic Si, it's called a Hondata Flash Pro. And all it does is it reflashes your ECU, the computer that is inside your car, and it helps it create more power. Typically, they raise boost by six PSI in their stage one. And that's where I would start off at to make sure longevity is going to be certain, you know, for your clutch and just for the engine. So I would start with this stage one. The preliminary tune shows a massive increase in torque. Let's go ahead and look at the dyno chart. Now the stock form made really good torque. It's a very broad uh, torque curve as well. This torque curve looks like it tapers off severely in comparison. The, the stock tune looks like it's really, really nice and tapered. It's a spike in the beginning and then it just levels off. This one goes straight up and then at about 4,000 RPM starts to taper off. Whereas the other one didn't dip as severely until after, I don't know, 52, 5300 RPM. So it does drop off faster, but you also are left with a lot more torque. We're talking between 40 and 50 foot pounds of torque increase. Then we look at the horsepower, not as big of a jump, but anywhere from 18 to 37 horsepower all the way across the rev range. So you're always making more power right after 20, let's say 200, maybe 2300 RPM, you're constantly making more horsepower, which is fantastic because you have your torque. That's gonna start off at about 2400 RPM at a lot of torque. And this thing goes all the way up to 260 foot pounds of torque. That is, that is quite a bit of torque. So you're gonna have a lot of torque on those front wheels. Thankfully, there is a limited slip differential. You are probably gonna be, step two is to get stickier tires. I would probably recommend a 200 tread if you're gonna be taking this out on the track. And even if you don't, <clears throat> maybe the high twos, like a 280, if this is going to be like a canyon carving kind of car, uh, obviously not for winter. For winter, I'd put different tires on there, but I mean for, for fun. And then I would probably do a track pad and some high temperature brake fluid before I hit my tracks up here in about what, February, March, when things start to open back up and uh, see how this thing would go around the track and see if it needs like a rear sway bar or if that's dialed in okay. And then kind of adjust everything else from there. So what would you guys do? What would be your first mod? Is the Honda Reflash, is this something that's going to, in the Flash Pro, is this something that you're gonna be interested in getting? Are you impressed by these horsepower numbers? I know I am. Please do like and subscribe for more content like this. My name's Eric. This is Cruise Control. Have a good one.